Guess what, guys? It's Saturday. Yep. That means it's time to work on comics? You know, to be honest, all the creative things that I have to do and, and enjoy doing, it can get pretty overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff. Um, but you know what? We can just take one step at a time. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. <laughs> Ow. You know, I got a lot of stuff going on today. I want to learn some things. I want to try some new things. But I also want to um, get some work done on the th other things I have to do too. So there's just a lot going on. I have to run some errands first though. Let's get to it. Got hairs in my face. <laughs> wanted to say is in, in this life um, we just have so much opportunity um, there's so much potential no matter how bad you have things there's probably a lot you can do I don't know there's a lot of things to be thankful for and um, you know I don't have a lot of time sometimes but I'm gonna take the time I do have and use it to the best of my ability <laughs> You know, I was thinking that uh, with all this potential, um, especially with the internet and having, you know, if you have a smartphone and you have, or you have the internet, um, access to the internet, there's just so much going on. and. Um, one thing that's really cool is, especially for creative people, is there's so many free programs you can use. I mean, um, I'm really looking into Blender right now because there's a bunch of things that aren't even, I'm not even interested in 3D modeling so much. Um, maybe for a few little usages, but nothing like super heavy. Um, but, you know, I am interested, They're, They it also can be used as a, a video editing program and now they're introducing 2D animation stuff into it so Krita is really good and there's also 2D animation in Krita which is interesting. Um, another one I've used recently is uh, Inkscape uh, for basically to do vector type stuff and logo design and anything that basically Illustrator would do. And also these programs, so far what I'm noticing is they use a lot less processing power than the Adobe Suite. And I don't have anything wrong with the Adobe Suite. Um, like, I want to use all those, but right now I can't afford them. I had them all for a little while. Um, but right now I can't afford them, and they slow down my computer. I've spent more time waiting for Adobe products to work on my computer than actually working on my projects. So, I mean, the potential is out there, even for free, as long as you have a connection to the internet and a computer. And I don't have a great computer either. I mean, you can do almost anything you really want with these programs. Um, it, it really has to do with how hard you're willing to work, is more, more than anything. Um, and how much time you have, and, and, or you can, you know, carve out for yourself. There's just so much potential. Um, seize the day. I love that phrase. Seize the day. Like, there's no time like right now to get started on your project. There is a lot of people out there doing amazing things and working on projects right now and building careers. And, you know, a lot of us are in like an early stage. You know, the thing is, is work really hard. Get stuff out. Start getting stuff out. 
it's easy to get discouraged. There's been times where I've looked around and been like, are any of us ever gonna get anywhere, you know? Are we just like spinning our wheels for nothing? All these people that we look up to, like people maybe in the comic book industry or whatever it is you create, you know, animation, whatever, um, novels, writing, all that kind of stuff, all these people had a place where they started and they had many years before they got to a point where they were well known. Um, with, or their projects were well known and so this is the early stages for a lot of people it'll be interesting to see you know 20 years from now um, where a lot of the, my peers end up you know I think that a lot of them will end up you know making a big uh, impact and I think that we're all going to keep progressing really but we're at this place where it's still very new um it's still, you know, people are still figuring out how to make this thing work, you know, how to make the internet work. I mean, a lot of people have found some ways how, but there's still a lot more territory, a lot more frontier to, to find. And, and I mean, even if you look at the old, the old things, you know, the old, like just movies, um, comic books and, and all these other mediums that have been around for for a long time even those ones are still gaining new ground you know so you know people think you know certain things are getting outdated or like there's not going to be comic books anymore there's still comic books there's still people um gaining new ground and doing new things and experimenting and making really cool stuff with comic books and there's still so much more that we can do with comic books or animation or whatever it is so the you know again it, you have a unique vision inside of you it's time to seize the day again once again seize the day make it happen guys that's what i'm trying to do um and i don't know what the results are going to be but i know that i'm going to work hard right now and we'll see what happens you know just uh, pulled up and right next to me there was a guy sitting in his car reading a book um, so you know technology is not taking over like we think sometimes people still enjoy the old things are done uh, I got some some lunch some leftover uh, wonton soup which I'm excited about to eat and um, can take a quick little break and then I got some cool stuff I got this um, I've used these before they're pretty cool these um, smartphone holders and this I just happen to see at um, Dollar General it's, but they're like these kind of patterns I don't know, some of them I don't love, but um, they have like plain versions too. 
and they have different colors, stuff like that. So I'm gonna use those for videos and that. And I got a new um, black mat for my table because mine's getting all crusty and stuff. It's just uh, poster paper, black poster paper. So I just wanna make things look nicer, you know, to have better videos and things. So again, just trying to do my best at um, making stuff better and taking advantage of what the opportunities I do have, you know, so. It's dark, cold, inhospitable. There are also craters. It almost looks as if the atmosphere is frozen. Shall we send a probe, Captain? No, I was thinking of landing on the planet. So there it is. It's not, you know, the most amazing solution or anything, but it'll make uh, my videos look a little bit nicer. Again, you know, using um, resources, you know, whatever resources you have. I mean, it cost me five bucks to get the colored paper and the black paper um, all together. And then it cost me another five bucks to get the uh, little tripod thing. So for pretty cheap, you can do a lot, you know. Alright, so all that being said, um, I came across something new that I think is really cool um, that, you know, has a lot of opportunity and potential. Um, so speaking about seizing the day, now you've all heard about you and probably seen sketch covers, right, where you can draw your own art on the cover. And these are a couple I did. I did this one as well. This one kind of folds out like this. Really cool. Uh, here's another one I did but didn't finish. So you've heard about those. So what? It's awesome potential, right? With that, a lot of oper a lot of things you can kind of do with that. But now they have something new that came out recently. Check these out. What? These are full blank comic books. There's nothing in them. <laughs> so basically, for the price of three dollars, you get a 24-page sketchbook. I think it's meant, apparently it's meant for 24 hour comic day. Um, these came out a few months ago. Um, and I got a couple of them. And they're really good paper. Um, inside paper is kind of the same paper quality as the cover. So it's nice and thick. And um, I think it's going to be good to draw on. Um, so I'm really excited to do something cool with these, these uh, blank comics. Now I don't. I think what's meant is they want you to like make your own version of Batman or Superman comic. They also have Wonder Woman, but they didn't have them at the store I was at. Um, and <clears throat> you know, I, w I was hoping like you guys could help me. Like, what what should I do with these? You know, there's so many different ideas of possibilities. Like I said, the the possibilities, the potential is endless. I could do kind of like a portrait like portraits of like all the different Batman characters like in big sizes like one or one per page or maybe three per double page spread um, and just try to do as many like 
Batman characters or Superman characters. Um, or I could maybe maybe I could do like a um, like the evolution of Batman and like kind of start with like his first initial design and just like all kinds of characters from from that era and then like through the different eras like move on and just put all just fill it with I want to treat it almost like a sketchbook and just a collage of like cool characters and stuff and maybe even throw some panels and stuff in there or I could even treat it just like a sketchbook um you know which one should i do first as well um you know i could treat it as like a sketchbook and just draw whatever i want in there um that would be kind of cool too um but a little bit weird i guess um i want to make a video of the whole books too as i do them um and then there's another idea would be um i could have like my characters like battle you know the superman characters or the batman characters or whatever like that that would be kind of fun um I don't know, maybe I could do something different with the Superman that I do with the Batman. Although I think it would be kind of fun to draw like all the old like crazy style characters like from the like 60s and 70s that you would see like in these comics. Like they had all kinds of crazy situations and characters and stuff. I think those will be fun to mess around with and I don't know, there's so many different things like and there's a lot if you were to get these like even if you're not an artist these would be like really cool like you can use these as like when you go to a convention just have go to all your different the artist tables and have them draw on each page and just try to fill it up with other artists you know sketches and stuff that'd be really cool or like what else what, what other ideas do you guys think would be cool to do this um i haven't seen anybody fill one of these up yet I'm sure it's happened, but I was looking for like YouTube videos and stuff and I haven't seen anybody fill one of these up and I want to like do it. I can't wait to uh, fill one of these up and I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe I could auction it off on eBay or something or when I'm done or I don't know. Maybe just keep it. <laughs> Who knows? So again, um, seize the day. You know, I've been working really hard trying to make this video and stuff today and just kind of hanging out doing my thing and I did a cool some cool art and everything and um still got more to do anyways hope you guys dug that and um this is Marshall Lee of donkeyjawprojects.com signing off uh I'll talk to you later peace out <laughs>